All right, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm taking over for Ren today for a source snack break. Um, let's see, every Monday through Thursday, we take about 20 minutes to cover uh, hot topics in commercial architecture and design, um, including new product releases, some designer stories, industry leaders, and the impact of design. Um, if you're tuning in live, you're automatically on mute, but you can use our live chat over um, on the screen. We you know, pop in your favorite emoji or whatever you want to do to say hi. Um, and you can uh, find our video recordings um, on demand at tothesource.com or subscribe to the audio on uh, Apple or Spotify podcast by searching Source Snack Break. Today is Thursday, September 24th, and we are discussing some beautiful tables and wood finishes with our guest, Kristen from Viridian Wood. Hi, hi Kristen. Everybody. Hi, guys. Yeah, so um, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you uh, became, how you got uh, started with Viridian? Yeah, so um, so I've been with Viridian since 2011. We were just talking a little bit about I had I actually did work for Source for a short period of time in in 2018, 2019, and then uh, Viridian asked me to come back, so I'm back, and it was a pretty uh, easy transition since I'm so familiar with their stuff. But um, I was employee number one back in 2011. Oh. Um, and here we are, you know, almost 10 years later and, and we have grown quite a bit. So um, I do business development for um, Viridian. So normally I get to travel a lot, um, but right now, obviously that's not the case, but I, I manage our independent reps across the US and then also, um, you know, make visits to firms across the US as well. So. Awesome. Yeah, and so and I the other little tidbit on here, um, I am lucky enough to live in a floating home on the Columbia. Right. Um, so that's my office, and unfortunately, it doesn't work to shift my desk around to show you it in the background. But um, but it's pretty, it's pretty lovely, and I'm a huge dog dog lover. Um, so that my coworkers are sitting next to me right now. Um, <laughs> my two foster, my two rescue dogs. So. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I also had to distract my dog so she would not uh, disrupt us during our chat. Uh -huh. <laughs> our, awesome. I call them my coworkers all the time because sure, that's what sure. they are. They're lazy, yeah. but yeah, very lazy. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, will you tell us a little bit more about Verdian? Where are they located? And uh, your employee number one. So, did they get started in 2011, or was it before that? No. Yeah. So, uh, we are located in uh, Selwood, actually, just outside uh -huh. of um, of Portland, Southeast Portland, mm -hmm. um, and we have a 60,000 square foot modern manufacturing facility the majority of our products are manufactured and reclaimed in portland mm -hmm. um or in the pacific northwest and um and we actually started in 2005 okay um but it was just the two founders joe and pierce um running the company up until that point point. and so mm -hmm. then i came in in 2000 late 2011 um and now we're up to about 25 um oh, wow. employees the majority are in the shop um, you know, we still have a relatively small office staff and then we've got independent reps, um, throughout the U S that's so, great. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a great, it's been good. And we've been able to stay operational during COVID. Um, actually the forest fires are the, the thing that finally shut us down for a week. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. The air quality, it just was, you know, we have to have dock doors open and we were in, you know, Clackamas County. So mm -hmm. that's where a lot of the fires were. So, um, but we're, we're back up and running this week. We're all so happy Great. to breathe fresh air and um, yeah. Yeah. Stuff. For those of you who aren't in uh, the Portland area, we had some pretty uh, awful air quality last week, um, but thankfully it's been raining a lot and uh, yeah. been helping putting out the fires and we're all very happy about that. I know. Can you believe us Oregonians were wishing for rain? It's pretty crazy. Right, I know. And now we'll, get, <laughs> we'll just get nonstop rain for the next nine months. <laughs> yep, exactly. All right. So tell me more about the Barrel House collection. Um, do you know what the inspiration behind this was? Yeah. So um, so Barrel House is actually um, reclaimed from grain silos in the grain growing regions across uh, the Pacific Northwest. So um, in Washington State and Oregon, um, it was all two by six joists that were, um, that they built the grain silos around. And basically the material, I think it says it on the next slide, but I'm gonna kind of mix it up a little bit, but the, um, <laughs> it's Ponderosa Pine and Douglas fir. And that is literally what they, what, what existed in those areas that they mm -hmm. cut down the trees to build these grain silos. So it's kind of a cool story. Um, it's all rough cut lumber. So it's got that really cool circle sawn 
um, you know, authentic, rustic look. It's very popular for like this, if, for instance, this is an image of a brewery, you know, um, mm -hmm. distilleries. We do a lot of hospitality and restaurants um, and then a lot of other, you know, various types of projects, um, workplace and great. And great. Um, yeah, so but basically the, you know, we have our, our craftsmen. We do these are, are manufactured in our um, factory in Portland. We've got some excellent craftsmen that do a really good job of retaining that rustic look and character, but still making it flat, right? So you have to be able to set a beer glass or a wine glass or... Yeah, um, I actually wanted to ask about that. Like, since it is reclaimed, what is the feel like while you're still keeping it in like a, you know, restaurant setting? Yeah, so we really, um, we actually, part of our QC process is to run a terry cloth rag across our oh, tables wow. when they're finished mm -hmm. to make sure, you know, we've... Uh, a lot of us, myself included, have worked in restaurants over the years and, um, you know, that's they're constantly going to be wiped down. We've oh, actually, yeah. you know, there. And so we we always um, test it that way to make sure there's not any catches. There's no place for food to get stuck. There's no slivers for people to get. Um, and there's going to be a little undulation in the wood and texture to it because it is reclaimed, but it's mm -hmm. not going to, you know, um, interrupt any of the you know you can you can still you can't slide a beer glass across and down the bar top <laughs> because there's going to be a little bit of texture to it sure. but you can still you know your, your stuff isn't going to tip over when you set it on there and you're not going to get any splinters so i mean that is the goal right <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly um yeah so um, you, you talked a little bit about what these were made of doug furs and ponderosa pines i recently heard them called pondies which i thought was pretty cute uh, I've never heard that before. How funny. I'm sure it was just my friend making up a nickname, but <laughs> I, I liked it and I want to spread it far and wide. So. Pondies. I'm going to start using it now. I love it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I guess if you want to talk a little bit more about the material. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. And actually what I'll talk about is this image here too, since I kind of mentioned it already. But this is, so this is our... Um, the, the only product that we also offer in an outdoor table option. So right. this is an image of our exterior tables. Um, and it's a really great product for that because, um, you know, it's already got some inherent variation, but and it's just going to beautifully patina over time. Um, the finish that we use on this pro particular product is not the same as our interior table finish. If you put right. a hard finish on an exterior table, it's going to crack and peel and not have good happy times so we um we that. use <laughs> yeah so we actually use an all-natural decking oil um it's it's a cabot's brand so it's right off the shelf and it makes it really easy i mean you can pick it up at home depot or or lowe's or um you know lots of different hardware stores and it just allow it, it when you have an outdoor wood table you're gonna have to do a little bit more upkeep to it yes. um but you know periodically once a year you can just get the deck stain and and paint it back on and and keep it up but it does protect it from moisture and sun um you know and and the wipe downs and stuff so we're That's, really excited about this yeah especially yeah. in the uh, pacific northwest you know outdoor uh furniture just in general is pretty hard to keep up so i'm glad that you have that process down it's beautiful yeah and these too. materials are used to this environment right this is it's local <laughs> <Also>. so <laughs> awesome. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think you'll probably go to the next slide because I, that's where we're going to kind of dig into the um, the the actual finishes that we use. Um, yes. So, so um, and sorry if I interrupt you. I'm I, like I said, I oh, talk no. way too I, much. I, so. I one. This is my first one. So <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> You're more seasoned. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. So um, so we actually on our tabletops um, we use a Green Guard Gold certified. Um, conversion varnish. And so for, um, you know, over the years, there have been different finishes that different manufacturers use on tabletops. Um, and a lot of times it's a flooring finish. Like a, a, traditionally it was a water-based polyurethane um, and that will break down pretty quickly when you wipe it with bleach or use other types of um, cleaners. And so obviously in this post COVID time that we have right now, bleach cleanability is really important and, um, you know, it needs to be able to be disinfected and wiped. And so um, that's this, this particular finish will hold up to just about any, you know, front of house when you're talking hospitality cleaners has actually been tested against a lot of Ecolab, which is kind of the industry standard, mm -hmm. um, cleaners. 
We've also done all kinds of other tests. There's some funky uh, codes here in the in the bio about it, but they're basically um, abrasion tests and tests against citrus and wine and you wow. know and and bleach water and all of that stuff. So um, you know what I always say about our tables is we build them to be held up to be able to hold up in a heavy duty restaurant environment, which means they're going to be able to hold up in virtually any other environment as well. So yeah, um, I mean they're getting yeah. a, lot of, a lot of use in a restaurant environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, constant wipe downs, and you know, as long as nobody's bringing out oven cleaner to uh, clean the tables, they're gonna hold up really well. Right. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you have to say that stuff sometimes. <laughs> I mean, you know, now that you say it, I does make sense, kind of. That prepare for anything and warn against that. Yeah, yeah, you have to say that sometimes. So. Um, Guess we're flying right through but yeah so that's kind of and and then also just we also have um a, a total complement of paneling and same type of thing with our paneling wall mm -hmm. paneling finishes are um all you know built to hold up in that in that type of environment and be cleaned and wiped constantly so. right um yeah i can uh, go on to the next slide where Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, you you know way more about this than I do, so go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember what the next one was because it's been a little Green while. Guard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so just a couple other little tidbits about Viridian. So, you know, we are um, we used formerly we're called Viridian Reclaimed Wood. We recently rebranded to R Viridian Wood, and it's not mm -hmm. because we aren't doing reclaimed anymore. The majority of what we do is still reclaimed, but um, just you know, the trends have been shifting and. And we have, um, you know, brought on some sustainable white oak and walnut. I'm sure everybody is, you know, that white oak is super hot right now. So is walnut. Yeah. So, we're, you know, we're kind of going with the trends. Um, but we still try to be as sustainable as possible. So, um, you know, Green Guard Gold certified finishes. Um, we, uh, all of our reclaimed products are FSC certified. So um, for any of you that may not know what that means, although I'm sure most of you do, but um, for Stewardship Council certified um, which is run by the Rainforest Alliance. Um, and it's all, all of our reclaimed products are certified post-industrial. So um, otherwise would have just gone into the waste stream. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, our, you know, our mission is to reduce the demand for new lumber. Uh, and then the other thing, which is really advantageous now, in especially recent times, but um, we partner with the National Forest Foundation um, to plant a tree in a national forest for every table that we make. Wow, um, yeah, and so and we were given the option to kind of decide where we wanted those to be planted, and um, up until so for the last year we've been planting them in Paradise, California, where they you know just had those horrible um, yeah. over the years. Hopefully that's not also our new reality um, here in the Pacific Northwest. But yeah. <laughs> um, so you know it's 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 pretty awesome. And then we also work with some of our we do work a lot of work with um, restaurant chains. Uh, around the country and a, sub, several of them have offered to match that as well. So we're just, it's pretty exciting to, to have that as an option. Yeah, I love to hear that. And yeah, that's really great that you get to pick the areas you do, you know, because I mean, I'm sure next planting season after Oregon's, you know, fires have subsided are definitely going to need new growth in them. Um, so yeah, yeah we, we love to hear that. And yeah, and just what I love about Reclaimed Wood is that it's very old and you can't get it anymore. You know, like that's, you're not going to be able to get that ever again. Yeah. And it's such a real cool way to like preserve history in that yeah. way. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. A lot of it's super old growth lumber that that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get. Yeah. So, so I, you know, get to preserve that piece. Let's yeah. see. Um, yeah, so I mean, we we went through this real quick. Uh, but, well, I so, have one thing I want to tease ooh, too, if yeah, that's okay with you, too. since we have a couple oh, minutes. Go for it. Um, I meant to have an image in the slideshow, but we didn't get it done um, in time. But we are, and I'd love if anybody has questions about this or just reach out to me. We're hoping to launch this in the next um, next quarter, but we're doing ooh. these awesome um three dimensional it's a little bit of a of a change from what we've done in the past yeah. but it's it's apple ply you know it's it's we call it design ply but it's nauf and and it's going to have our conversion varnish on it but they're divider screens um That's and awesome. we're really excited yeah and so we're gonna have lots of different designs and um and we're actually going to be for those of you in portland 
um, or in Oregon, I guess, if you want to travel a little bit, we're having an event um, where we're going to show these next Thursday, October 1st. So um, yeah, that, like, in our parking lot. So yeah, we'd love to have um, everybody come out. But yeah, it's exciting stuff. I, it's one of those um, kind of, you know, we're just pivoting a little bit with the COVID reality and trying to find way, new ways to divide spaces. And Yeah, absolutely. And it, it kind of has that like modern but retro vibe, which I really love. Uh-huh. And yeah, um, and I can't believe October is next week. But I don't even think September. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and it's going to be like 80 degrees on th- next Thursday. So we're right. really excited. We were risking it. Be- it was supposed to be last week, and then obviously that didn't happen. And now we're like, oh, we're pushing it into October. What's you know? Right. And it turns out that uh, we're going to have some nice weather. So. What a year! Um, awesome. Well, if designers, you have any questions, you can pop that in now. And thanks so much, Kristen. This was really fun, and thank you for uh, you know making this easy for my first time. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, and uh, designers, thanks for uh, popping in. Um, let's see, and I, I think I can add a link to something <laughs> to get info and. Uh, well, and we are we're actually going to be updating. Um, we're actively updating your guys's sources database right, right now. So the Barrel House is not on your website yet, but it will be soon. So just reach out to me through you know the contact. Yes, yeah, so you know that people just need to have it right now. They can reach out to you directly. I love that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, thanks again, and everyone yeah. feel free to subscribe to another uh, snack break, uh, register, um, I guess I should say, uh, in the future. Mm-hmm. And yeah, thanks so much. Uh, have a yeah, yeah. fantastic week. Of your week. Good to All see right. everybody. Thanks so much for coming. Take care. Bye. Bye, guys.